So we left off being able to click, and then we have our robot putting in their symbol on empty blocks. But, as you can see, I got three in a row, but it doesn't say that I'm a winner, and I can keep playing. Okay, so now we need to create the select winner. Okay, so let's go to the bottom. <clears throat> First, actually, let's go to the top, and I have a few more variables now to add. Remember, the last one needs the semicolon, so go ahead and put comma there. Enter, and we're going to create a variable result box equals result box equals document dot query selector. And it's going to select the C in our HTML, uh, the result box. Copy that. Paste, and then comma. And then one text. So that gives you one inner text. And this will be right here, the winner text, one text, copy, paste that there, again comma, and then finally will be the replay button, replay btn, and that's going to equal the result box. dot query selector and just this one just button specifically that is this button replay and then finish with a semicolon don't forget that boom boom okay we got our variables our last variables that we're gonna need Don't let me to forget to add the select winner. Remember to call that. Okay, so next we're going to create the select winner function. So, just like the word says, this function will check all possible winning combinations in a grid and it ends up declaring a winner or if it's a draw. If there's a winner or a draw, it will then show um, the result in the result box and also disabling like further gameplay. Like So once there's three X's in a row or three circles in a row, done, winner, and it will say who the winner is. All right, so function. The function name is going to be select winner. Parameter, none, no parameters. Condition, if, all right, so now follow me. Now we're going to do all the combinations that can happen for a winner. So, the first combination would be check class. Oh, I skipped. 
Oh, I skipped ahead. Okay, so leave that right here. I need to create a few more functions first. So, first, right here. Right here, we're gonna go winner. We're gonna go function. Get class. And then ID name. We're good. And then curly braces. All right, so get class is going to return document query selector. These functions are going to help with the select winner function. Box. Plus ID name dot ID. Semicolon. Okay. This is selecting the winner. Next, check for three cells. This is going to check, this function right here is checking if we have three cells that are exactly the same, that have the same sign. That's how to win in tic-tac-toe. So function. Check class, boom, and then we're doing val one, val two, val three, and sign. And then curly braces there. So there's my check class. You see how I jumped a little head because this function needs this function. Okay, so check class, what that specifically is gonna do is if get class right here, if val1 equal to sign and so now you can copy this after the end because the condition is going to be if all of them are the same val2 are equal and val3 are equal and then end it just with sign. And we curly brace that. Then return true. A Boolean value of true. Okay. Uh, no colon. Return true. Nice. All right, now we got the setup fresh. <clears throat> so these two, this is selecting the winner. This is checking if we have a winner or when we have a winner. And the time we have a winner is when val1, val2, val3, their signs are the same. Okay, so now we can go back before I jump ahead a little bit. We can go back. So if check class is one, two, three, 
and the value is player sign. Meaning if in, we're looking at all the conditions, one, two, three, if player sign is all X and they're all the same, we have a winner. Or, so remember this symbol for or. So now we can copy this right here. Copy after or. Or if in four, five, six. If in four, five, six you have the player sign, that would be. Ah. You, you remember the box? It would be the next line down, four, five, six. It would end up being that. And so forth. All of the different combinations four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, here to give you a visual, these, in these boxes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, now we don't only just have to do straight across, there's also an option of diagonal, so it's 1, or up and down, right now we've got vertical, so one, four, seven. Also one, four, seven. Then two, five, eight. These are the vertical numbers. Two, five, eight. Uh, three, uh, six. Nine and then diagonal of one five nine and then last one would be the other way diagonal. Uh, 159, and this would be 3, 5, 7. And take away this or, because we're done. Those are all the options of being able to win in tic tac toe. I'll scroll back slowly 357, 159, 369, 528. One four seven. Did I do two one four seven? Oh, one four nine. Sorry, one four seven. And then the seven eight nine four five six one two three. Boom. Okay. So this is okay. So this is what this is showing. So if any of these happen, end up becoming true. What we want to happen is run bot to equal false. That means the game is going to stop. The robot is going to stop putting in things, putting in its, its symbols once you have three in a row. And we still want to call bot run in there, bot run but with with um <clears throat> now with a timer set time out boom boom Whoops. And for here, this is going to display the result box. Play board dot class 
uh, remove. So we want the playboard to go away. Remove show. And we want to add the result box. Add the result box. Stop the robot. We have to, we want to call the robot so that it's running, but then we want to stop it. Set a timer, remove the playboard, add the result box. Put a comma here. Seven hundred as our timer time, and then semicolon. And then under here, we're going to write out the words we want for if when somebody does win one text dot inner html to equal back tick please player It'll show the sign, whether it's X or O. Won the game. Good job. Semicolon. All right. And then, in the situation of it being a draw, right? We can check. Let's check. Uh, let's call this. And let's put make sure I put it in the right spot. Yeah, let's put it in the bot. And let's put it right here. We're going to call it in our bot function. Boom. Save. All right, let's check it out first. Uh-oh. All right, so we still got some stuff to do. <clears throat> All right, don't worry. So we're right here, boom, boom, boom. Let's go else. Curly brace. This is in case if it's a tie. If get class. One does not equal. And, and we're going to do copy all this and we're going to go all the way to nine. Edit undo. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take off the end at the end.
curly brace. I did that kind of fast. And now again, we want to just copy this. Because if there's a tie, we still want it false to be stopped. Remove the play board, add the result board, and then this time our one text will be, whoops, Okay, all right, let me check through this, make sure I didn't miss Ah! <laughs> I see it, I see it. So, okay, I see it. So we got select winner here. I only called it, I only called it, in the bot function. I also need to call it in us clicking. So in the situation that we win. So let's look. Hopefully the robot will win. My goodness. See? Now the robot won. So the function is called there. You gotta organize that. Okay, but now I also need to call the select winner in the click box because this is my moves. So put that here. Paste. Save. Look at that. Look at that. Way to figure out your code. Um, save that and semicolon. Save. It's the click box function. Could refresh this. So now if I win, boom, it works. All right, let's fix this. So where is that? Let's not do a space, not do a space, save. See how that looks. Player X won the game. Hmm, not sure. Let's do wins. Player X wins. Nice. Okay, now we want to be able to replay. So that's a little simple fix. To restart the game at the very end, let's do replay, and that is just to the variable we did replay button dot on click equals parentheses semicolon boom. And then window dot location dang location dot reload boom semicolon save and check it out here here here.
here, replay, get started again. Boom, great job, be proud of yourself, just made 